Hey everyone, Meowsity here, welcome back. Today on the Darkest Mod File, we're looking at going into the wield and killing the normal hag on the veteran level and whatever else we may find in here because my luck says we're going to find a mini boss or two on the way. And just to be a little weird, we're bringing a kind of pseudo blight group just to level them up so I can get a group ready for the Scarlet Shield wall, so I'm not sure how well they're gonna do in here, but we're darn well gonna try. So with that being said, let's get into it. Just bringing the usual assortment of stuff into the wield. Nothing too special. Her knowledge of horticulturalism and its role in various arcane practices impressed me greatly. My licentious impulse gave way to a genuine professional respect, and together, we began to plant, harvest, and brew. There is method in the wild corruption here. It bears a form both wretched and malevolent. So she's probably going to be way off to the right there. That seems like it's the farthest one away. stealth the things right off the bat. Not the biggest fan of that. So we're just going to start off by blighting everything. I think I put the um, Forsaken in the wrong spot too. I'll fix that. Alright, let's start with Perilous Flesh like normal. Get that lovely attack back. Captivate can be done in the other spots, so we're going to be doing that. And Necrotic Plague has to be done in second row, which is the main thing we're going to be doing. So that's, once again, what we're going to go with. And we can hit her. So that's what we're going to do, taking out the crone. Then we're going to go with that guy. Didn't hit. Oh, well. He's five out of six. So we might as well take him out. And just because we can't, let's play carrier. Just leaving that pawn once again. Who now we're just going to blight to oblivion. Ooh. Right, survey says he works its no mimic. Can you tell I'm a little paranoid about those things? Things happen. I am gonna go up to that secret room. Which does mean getting past an obstacle, but that's no horrible deal. Especially if it gets me something nifty. Out of our last skeleton key. I mean, I'll take the 9,000 gold. Alright, what's behind this door? Survey says a bunch of mosquitoes. So we're gonna stun these ones. Somehow it resisted, wow. Alright, let's take out this one. We're then. I think I'm gonna go for Clobotomy. One's gonna die right off the bat. I wanna see what this does. And we will empower the Ring Blade just because we can. Gotta love that reflect. Right. So two more on him. 
if he doesn't heal. So let's go at one of these guys that doesn't have much left. There's one down. We're going to battle with medicine before he gets eaten alive. Let's go with heavy slam, heavy impact. Never get these moves right. Um, and then we can't death coil, but we can do this. Helping that blight, they go down. Continue the onslaught. Destroy. More stuff is never bad. Take the torch. No other goodies. And a bunch of doggos. Alright, let's do this to this one. Light takes it out. Or not phlebotomy. Fearless flesh. Then going to blight that one. That is in two. But we can do this. Lighting it for more. Still dies in two and then on its turn blights everything else. How quickly the tide turns. Not sure how a skeleton can bleed. Things that make me wonder. Is broken. Maintain the offensive. I guess he's not gonna make them be blighted. Oh well. Okay, let's get rid of that. No more bleed on our skeleton, which very odd. We are going to heavy slam, heavy impact, whatever you want to call it. I miss anyway, so I guess we can only captivate that one. Put some more blight on. Now that bleed I understand. And we're gonna get rid of nonetheless. Obliterated. I'm surprised that the blight is working so well here. Can be felt. They can be beaten. Lots of curios. One of which I'm avoiding. Alright. Get rid of these Imagos so they don't uh, get more of their kind in here. Don't need a bunch of buzzing insects. We're going to. You know what? Let's do this. The way we have an attack back. Not that it works on the madman, but it's something. Captivating. He goes down on his next turn if that blight goes off. Then heavy slam, we win. As the enemy crumbles. Death coil won't work. So, I guess we'll do that. Getting rid of the blight. Down he goes. Alright. Can I take my loot? Thank you. Is it that? It is. I always get the trees confused in here. It's either the bandage or the anti-venom. Let's do this. I think she's the best of traps, and I hit the trap on my own accord. Lovely. Possessed by evil intent. All right, not a bad fight. Let's light the battery so it doesn't mark us.
Airless Flush. Getting that attack back. Flag grenading, hitting the crone. And him, nice. Well, he's going to be marked. We better do Plague Carrier. That way he attacks back. And gets the heal. Blighting again. Crone should die on her turn. We're gonna put a blight on the grabbers. Activating heavy slam, heavy impact. Keep getting the name wrong. Probably gonna keep calling it the wrong thing. Alright, one down. Gonna take damage. Probably go at Forsaken. Yep. 11 around, wow. He's definitely dying on his turn. Uh, suppose we'll just do this. And he dies. Oh, no. Now he dies on his turn, so they'll both drop. I will take that. Got to do that. Oh well. Alright, camping so we can be stressed and see what we can do about powering up. Armor piercing is not going to do us much. Don't need to remove mortality debuffs. So, what's the rudiment got? Prevent nighttime ambush? Sure. Yes, we'll do what we can here. Okay, self-medicate. And then no one has a disease. Okay, so up our accuracy. We're going to remove stress from everyone. And then that'll be it. The light, the promise of safety. Get our gems. Called it. Hey, it's a bleeding tree, and I can't bleed it this time around. This should be fun. The blood quickened. Let's try to stun it. <laughs> oh, this is actually going to be kind of interesting. I suppose I'm going to just outright damage it. Airless flush, so I get an attack back and a repulsed. Flag carrier, just in case he attacks the Forsaken. Gnawing uncertainty, the birthplace of dread. I do not want her trading places with the rudiment, so we're just going to captivate. Trying for that, done again. Heavy impact. Oh boy. Well, we can at least get the blight resistance down. Good composition. Find out after this. And once again. We need to do this so it gets the attack back. Probably should just do the heavy impact for now, but. Yeah, we're, we're just gonna go for a kill. We, we can do that this turn, I think.
next turn for sure. Oh, we got a blight. Still wasn't bad without a group that was kind of meant for it. As the light gains purchase, spirits are lifted and purpose is made clear. Heal up what we can and in we go. Twisted and maniacal. A slathering testament to the powers of corruption. All right, let's blade her. Suppose we should get him out of the pot. Yeah, I know, he takes extra damage. Really? Well... We're gonna let him stew. Piercing. That'll almost break that. And there we go. Definitely need to heal. Death cannot be escaped, but it can be postponed. Yeah, fading. Yeah. We can blight her. Twenty around, she goes down on our next turn. I'll just let her die. Who is creator to make sure nothing bad happens? There we go. Still poisoned. The way is still blocked. But and we got another blueprint out of that. So happy with that. That went a lot better than I expected, especially with that bleeding or the hanging tree there. I keep wanting to call it the bleeding tree. That's something that stuck with me. Why does a tree bleed? Alright, so we did get the Guardian Shield, which I don't think I've ever used. We did get about 25,000 gold, and we did get a lovely little blueprint that I'm probably going to use right away. Our One of them did get to level 5, which is amazing. We will be using him quite a bit, I have an assumption of. I remember days when the sun shone. And laughter could be heard. I do tavern. think that a few of them might need to go into treatment. So we will do that. I probably should also upgrade this place at some point. But first, let's look at this. I don't want that, but I need a hundred of these marks, which I'm not sure how to get. Ten more for the Holy Fountain, which I think might actually be my next goal. I'm not sure what half these tokens do since they changed that on me. But th yeah, I think we're going to save up for these deeds, meaning I can upgrade this stuff. Gilded icons and dogmatic rituals. For some, atomic against. And then he needed bad humors removed. I think it was Louvet. That got boosted immunity. Yes. 
I definitely want that on because the blight resistance and the blight duration received down. Yeah, we will definitely lock that in. And next time, probably be doing either the Warrens, the Culver, the Sunward Isles to level them up, catch them up, or just try to find something good. So that's probably what we'll be looking at to try to level more stuff up for the Scarlet Shield while trying to get a Blight group together for that. Um, I think that's what I want to try out for him and see if we can't get that done. I'm not sure that's the right thing to do, but that's what I'm going to go for. So with that being said, I wish you all well. I'll see you next time and please have a good one.